Hey, let's check out the Max Focus integration. So head on over to the App Center, click on Max Focus, and jump into the settings to get started. So it's going to want your um, API host and token. The host you can get kind of out of the address bar when you're logged into the dashboard. It's this thing right here. Um, for US folks, it's the um, autocomplete there, the HTTPS system monitor.us. Um, you'll have to type it, um, but it's in my autocomplete here. Then you head over to um, settings, general, API, and copy that guy. We'll need the API token in here. Click validate. This will make sure we can get to your customers. Now at this stage, um, you may have asset types already in your repair shopper account. Those are over here under Asset Manager, um, Manage Types. So we've got some in our demo account here. We've got one for computer. But when you click Start here, we're going to automatically create two new asset types, one for servers and one for workstations. And we'll automatically add the like custom fields we're going to get from GFI. Um, once we start here, we're also going to bring your, your Max Focus um, clients over into Repair Shopper and attempt to match them by the business name or show you a mapping page where you can update those. So we'll click start. This can take um, a little while, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, you know, it's waiting for some customers to come over from Max Focus. I might just pause the video here. Okay, we got some. Now we're just going to wait for the rest to come in. Cool, there's some customers. So this one matched on the business name. The others, I do have some test agents in um, the Adams family and the Dent Wild Dentals. I'm going to map these right now. We'll just look for the Adams. And we'll look for our dental customer. Cool, okay. So I just happen to know, I don't care about these others, but you probably want all of them mapped. Um, you can just hit finished and I'll show you the checkbox on this next screen. Um, when you hit finished here, it's going to enable the sync and the next you know, update interval. Um, the assets and checks are gonna come in for these mapped customers. So we hit finish. And I'm gonna check this box. Auto create repair shopper customers when they're added to max focus. That means you know, new clients detected in Max Focus, create and map to repair shopper customers. Okay, so at this point, um, it could take a few minutes, but when you're in your at, um, assets manager, we'll be expecting to see some new assets here. They're not in here yet. Um, the other thing you're going to see that's new is on your ticket screen, there's a GFI alerts button, and this is where your checks are going to come in. You can filter them, you can clear them. Um, we'll wait here just a moment for that in, that sync to happen. And okay, a few minutes later, we got some assets that popped in here. What you'll see is the uh, custom fields are all set up for your um, GFI fields. So we pulled in everything that was reasonable, and there's a take control link here. So if you've got the take control team viewer thing installed, um, grabbing this should give us the file. Hey, there it is. You name it properly for the computer name too, um, which Max Focus doesn't do. Um, then over in tickets, let's see if we've got an alert. <clears throat> we don't. So um, in a couple minutes, we'll probably get an alert here. First, um, while that's going, check out Notification Center. Um, if you create a notification for, you'll notice the RMM alert, RMM asset, RMM client. Um, those are here, so you can say Troy in app. We'll say notify me. Actually, I think it's um, demo admin is this user. We'll say RMM alert was created. We'll do an in app notification. Create. Okay, now we'll have a notification in the app too. Okay, we waited a second. 
let's check out our okay now we've got some alerts so um, now from alerts you can hit the red X to delete them that will actually clear them on max focus or you can create a ticket if you want to turn this into work creating ticket takes you to the ticket it attaches the asset and the take control link is handily there um, so coming soon we're gonna have um, like save searches here that can automatically create you'll create some rules um, so that's coming soon for now that's how the integration works have fun